Hello guys and welcome back to yet another AMC video. Today, I'd want to discuss how the present banking crisis and GameStop's profits are contributing to the strain. I will show how the meme stock basket is the primary hedge against the present financial turbulence and how this will result in the liquidation of a lot of hedge funds. Thus, remain tuned and let's earn some cash. And now I'll present the essential facts. According to Spence's tweet, this is the pre-market activity I intended to observe. Someone was just caught with their trousers around their ankles in a major way on the GameStop shorts, and this will reverberate across the entire meme stockpile, he said. Again, Mark Cotty's revelation of these utterly corrupt institutions and their demise was the impetus for this move, which I believe was partly influenced by GameStop's newfound profitability. Clearly, last night's aftermarket and today's pre-market saw a significant increase in GameStop shares due to the newly discovered profitability. Nonetheless, let's continue with GameStop's new profits for the time being. Incredible, tweeted Dave Lauer on Twitter. GameStop's stock has increased by more than 50% due to an unexpected profit and strong earnings report. Bacom's reiterated that many individuals believed fundamentals were unimportant because this is not a fundamental play. Nonetheless, it is evident that the fundamentals and the current banking crisis are causing the squeeze. Clearly, GameStop has been absolutely devastated as a result of its profitability. I also believe that AMC will not be far behind GameStop's success. And now, analysts such as Wetmish Securities are increasing their price targets on GameStop because they understand that shorts are doomed. If there is no longer a reason for these shorts to continue shorting because GameStop and AMC will become profitable, it will result in many smaller hedge funds closing their short positions. Now, it is evident that the larger, illegally functioning hedge funds will not want to shut out of their short positions, since they are aware that doing so would induce a squeeze and ruin their fund. Hence, despite the fact that GameStop is now profitable, and AMC will soon be profitable as well, their larger hedge funds will attempt to maintain their short holdings despite the fact that it makes no financial sense. When the price of GameStop and AMC progressively rises, however, a growing number of smaller hedge funds will undoubtedly liquidate their short positions, putting increasing pressure on the shorts. Moreover, when this pressure is combined with the current banking crisis, GameStop, Bitcoin, and the entire meme stock portfolio become hedges against the current systemic collapse. In addition, AMC will likely become profitable in the near future, since it may have generated a new revenue stream through its partnership with GameStop. GameStop tweeted, are you intending to watch Super Mario Bros? Movie. Take advantage of this offer. Get a ticket using Fandango. When you buy $75 or more on Mario items at GameStop, you can receive up to $15 worth of cinema tickets. If you spend money at GameStop, AMC theaters are probably nearby. But now for this caution. Even though GameStop rose in yesterday's after hours and this morning's pre-market, it appears that GameStop, AMC, and Bed Bath & Beyond have all been attacked in the early hours of the market. Mr. David Neo tweeted today that they have already planned this run and are calling it an unintentional crush. According to him, they want you to purchase March 24th calls so that your brokers can engage in criminal actions and render your calls worthless. He stated, don't be deceived, products with an expiration date of less than 6 to 12 months are trash. Even though GameStop was gaining ground in pre-market trading this morning, and was plainly crushed at the opening bell. The pressure is not done. I do believe that GameStop and AMC will steadily increase in price over the next few weeks and months, now that GameStop is profitable, which will put so much pressure on the shorts that they will be liquidated, especially since JP Morgan and Zero Hedge anticipate that the current banking crisis will continue to deteriorate. Additionally, if you haven't already, sign up for Moomoo, the sponsor of today's film, by clicking the link in the description. Currently, you can receive up to 17 free stocks, commission-free trading, and free level 2 market data. And most significantly, Moomoo is extremely user-friendly. With Moomoo, you may receive free customer service 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and you can trade around the clock thanks to their extended trading hours. JP Morgan has stated that a recession appears inevitable in light of the banking crisis and the anticipation of additional unknown unknowns. And they have stated that this feels more like another bear market rally than the start of a new bull market. 
Chid Morgan plainly anticipates additional bank failures and the continuation of the banking crisis, in you deteriorating in stocks continuing to decline, establishing new lows. Yet, as Peruvian Bill tweeted, GameStop, Bitcoin, and the rest of the meme stock portfolio are the ultimate hedge against the present systemic collapse. As previously said, now that GameStop has become profitable, the short thesis has been completely demolished, and many of these short sellers will want to exit their short holdings when the price moves against them. Although GameStop is currently profitable and has billions of dollars in cash on hand, AMC2 has billions of dollars in cash and will soon be profitable. There is no motivation for short sellers to continue shorting these companies as they will not fail. Doug Sifu, the CEO of Virtue, is still attempting to assert that fake and synthetic shares are complete nonsense, which, as Josh pointed out, he said, when people say that naked short selling isn't a thing, you have to wonder which side of the fence they're actually on because, as Paul tweeted, Doug Sifu has already been caught by the financial authorities in Korea for naked short selling. According to him, the corporation made orders in 2021 to sell 73 billion, one worth of shares of a local company, despite not owning these shares. According to industry sources cited by the Korea Daily Post, the Securities and Futures Commission SFC is the leading financial regulator's decision-making body. UPX was fined 21 billion won last Wednesday by the Financial Services Commission for engaging in illegal short selling. It is stated that the banking authorities caught UBS ad naked short selling. Without owning the shares, the business issued orders in 2021 to sell 73 billion one worth of shares of a local company. Credit Suisse collapsed until it was rescued or acquired by UBS, who is now protesting that they do not want the deal to go through. If Credit Suisse had released this report, it would have likely fallen in less than 24 hours, incurring considerably more damage. In light of the fact that Credit Suisse's deposits went from 392 billion to 233 billion, while being a globally systemic and significant bank, one can only picture the devastation it has caused for these regional banks as well. I'm confident that it won't be long before the First Republic collapses as well. First Republic and JP Morgan continue to struggle to find a buyer or a means to salvage the bank. Thus, I am confident that it is only a matter of days before the next wave of the banking crisis causes even more regional banks to fail. Clearly, when this occurs, it will not be long before the stock market falls more and GameStop and AMC rise as natural market hedges. Nonetheless, please let me know what you think in the comments section below. As always, gentlemen, be remember to ring the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I submit a new video. We will meet in next video. Goodbye.